great again. What does war look like from a soldier's point of view? Tens of millions down. of YouTube viewers now know, thanks to a video taken in Afghanistan that has gone viral. The soldier crying out over and over to his platoon and hit. He intentionally took on fire to try to draw the fire away from his, his mates. And now we know who he is. Ted Daniels, that's his name. Teddy Daniels. The man, Teddy Daniels. I'm Teddy Daniels, the soldier who took four bullets from that AK-47. And I believe that one of the reasons God let me survive that gunfight is to deliver this emergency broadcast to you right now. Do not click away from it. What's going on here? Well, the story gets weird. Food processing plants all over the country seem to be catching fire. This happened, of course, but this is a lot of industrial accidents at food processing facilities at the same time the president's warning us about food shortages. Getting hit by planes and catching fire. What is going on here exactly? On February 3rd, a massive fire ripped through Wisconsin River Meats in Malston. That same exact day, another fire ravaged Percy Farm in Stowe, Vermont, killing hundreds of cows. About a week later, the Bonanza Meat Company in El Paso, Texas, burst into flames. And that very same day, the Shearer Food Plant in Hermiston got burnt to the ground. Just a few hours later, in Claypool, Indiana, a raging fire broke out at the largest soybean processing plant in the country. In the months prior to those incidents, there had been 93 other instances of food processing plants catching fire. Our administration and mainstream media has stated that all these fires must be a coincidence and are not a threat to our food supply. However, the cost of food in the U.S. has not only spiked tremendously over the last year, it's actually at an all-time high as we speak. Hi, I'm Teddy Daniels. I'm a father, combat veteran, a citizen journalist, and a private investigator who says it like it is and isn't afraid to ask the questions that mainstream media tries to cover up. In that spirit, let me ask you a question. Do you think that all these food processors catching fire are a coincidence? Who's responsible for these fires? And why does the cost of our food continue to skyrocket? Those exact questions are what triggered an initial investigation by me and my team. As we began to dig, searching for a potential culprit, we started finding clip after clip just like this. Chinese nationals have begun buying up tens of thousands of acres of farmland. You are seeing the Chinese buy up America. They are waging an economic war on the United States. America cannot allow China to control our food supply. I was stunned. Could the Chinese Communist Party be connected to our food processor fires? And why were the Chinese buying up so many of our farms? That's when our investigation kicked into overdrive. Once again, I'm Teddy Daniels, and over the course of this short, scathing report, I will expose exactly what our team discovered and reveal indisputable evidence that America is on the cusp of the greatest food shortage in our nation's history. The food shortage that will trigger a deadly domino effect of mass pack. Then I'm going to peel back the curtain and show you rock-solid evidence that proves that we are now officially past the point of no return. And that means that this final famine is no longer a matter of if, but when. The loss will reveal why right-wing conservatives, who are already under heavy attack in this country, are being specifically targeted and will be among this final famine's first victims. Because it's my belief that we have a Chinese spy with direct ties to Joe Biden operating inside our government as we speak, sabotaging any efforts to stop this fact. And despite great personal risk to myself, I will expose her identity in this report. So keep watching. Because more critically, I will show you what my team and many experts now believe is the only thing you can do to keep your family safe and well-fed once this catastrophe strikes. A simple tweak to your bedroom closet or any closet in your home that you're willing to empty out plus three feet of copper wire. As far as we can tell, this empty closet hat is the only way to fully protect your family from the carnage that's to come. So when the woke liberals who let this happen are begging for your help, you can slam the door right in their face because you were the one smart enough to properly prepare. So watch the rest of this controversial report while you still can, before they deplatform me just like they did to Tucker and so many other patriots before him. No surprise, my team and I have made extremely powerful enemies by going public with this news. Enemies like the Chinese secret police and even a radical far left faction of our own government, led by a renegade member of Congress with strong ties to communist China. 
So, if I suddenly die of a heart attack or get into a fatal car accident, I want to go on record right now and say it was not an accident. Bottom line, the next time you try coming back to this page, it will probably be gone. And you and your family could be left unprepared, scared, and starving. With nothing but the pitiful cries of, I'm so hungry, coming from the people you love most. While you are forced to look them in the eye and say, I'm sorry, we don't have any food left. I failed you, family. So put aside whatever else you might be doing right now. Trust me, it's not as important as what you're about to discover. And watch the rest of this report like the lives of your loved ones depend on it. Because they actually do. First, some quick intel about me. I'm not an actor. This isn't a set. And those aren't props. This is my home. There's a picture of me with President Trump. There are my medals and my Purple Heart, which I bled for. I bled for a country that's betrayed us. And that betrayal is about to lead to the greatest disaster in our nation's history. But before I get into that, let me tell you a little more about who I am. So you know, I'm not some candy-ass pansy actor. As a young man, I was a state powerlifting champion. And I was a starting guard for the West Virginia Mountaineer football team. But what really made me proud was the long line of warriors I am descended from. My grandfather lost his leg on D-Day. And my other grandfather fought on Iwo Jima. They were hard men in hard times. And I looked up to them both. In a lot of ways, they're the reason I became a cop and eventually an investigator outside of Baltimore. But deep down, some part of me still felt like I hadn't done my part. Well, it was 2011. The war in Afghanistan started to get really bad. Our boys were coming home in body bags. So 35 years old, I did something pretty crazy. Something that everyone told me, Teddy, you're too old to do. I left my job as a deputy chief of police. And I joined the military. It was my background as an investigator, my credentials. The Army basically offered me whatever specialty I wanted. Military intelligence, bomb technician, work on computers, you name it. Then I thought about what my grandfathers would have chosen. They would have chosen the hard thing. So I chose infantry. And the recruiters looked at me like I had lost my freaking mind. Before I knew it, I was sitting in the deadliest place on earth. Kunar province, Afghanistan, better known as the Valley of Death. In Kunar, we got hit with rockets, IEDs, and mortar attacks every day. And because the Army had cross-trained me in ISR, Intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. My job was to go out on every single patrol and talk to villagers to try to pinpoint the enemy's position. And when we got into gunfights, which was damn near every day, I'd search the bodies of the terrorists that we just smoked hunting for intel. That's why I wore a helmet cam. On April 25th, 2012, my unit had just finished a patrol. When we came under heavy fire, we were outnumbered and pinned down. And folks, cavalry wasn't coming. So I got a pretty stupid idea. I thought, you know, if I charge down that mountain towards the enemy, I can draw their fire off my unit and give my men a chance to return fire. Wait, 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 get fire! And that's what I did. Oh, I'm hit! That's you. That's me. That video of me getting shot went viral. It got over 100 million views, becoming the most watched combat video of all time. I got to meet the president, who even wrote me this letter. And I'm honored to say that my Purple Heart sits on President Trump's desk to this day. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't love all the attention I was getting. I was on the front page of every paper in America. Hell, they even named a rifle after me, the Teddy 15. I guess some people thought I was some kind of hero. But those people were wrong. Let me be clear. The real heroes are the guys who never came home. They are the real heroes. And if they saw what was happening, fucking film already. They wouldn't let me record it. Sorry for the interruption. 
We will be right back. Don't go nowhere. What's this? Ten minutes back, ten seconds ahead. Oh, there he went. Other long overdue changes while I was at it. Here's a clip from one of my campaign ads. I'm Teddy Gaines, and I'm running for Congress in Scranton, Pennsylvania. You know, Joe Biden's hometown. I just... Communist Chinese or the Russians took over my computer editing and trying to jam anything I watch that especially record that they don't like. I'm trying to get this to you. Well, let's try this button again. Here's a clip from one of my campaign ads. I'm Teddy Daniels. And I'm running for Congress in Scranton, Pennsylvania. You know, Joe Biden's hometown. I just... Oh, great. Well, let's go 10 minutes ahead. I mean, didn't think they'd be able to control me. So they outspent me 10 to 1 and launched hit piece after hit piece after hit piece to try to stop me from shaking things up. Unfortunately, their sleazy Gestapo fascist tactics worked. And I came up just a hair short in the election. But it didn't matter. Folks, I don't quit. And I was never going to give up on America or give up on my son. That's when it hit me. I had years of experience investigating major crimes and was specially trained. Those skills to become an independent citizen journalist and report on the deadly facts that mainstream media is hiding from you. Facts like, did you know that close to two-thirds of the world's food reserve is inside of communist China right now? It's not a joke. Look it up. The U.S. Department of Agriculture recently declared that China has stockpiled almost 70% of the world's corn. 60% of the rice, and more than half of the world's wheat. This hoarding has not only led to rising food costs around the world, it's now causing dangerous food shortages throughout Europe and Africa. In fact, the president of the Natural Resource Institute, Akito Shibata, or however you say his name, just admitted that the skyrocketing cost of food is mainly due to hoarding by China. And that's a direct quote. Now, even though food prices are at an all-time high here at home, and some foods have simply vanished from our store shelves, it's still not as bad as what's going on in the rest of the world yet. And that's because 40% of America is farmland. In other words, unlike China, we have our own grain and meat supply to rely on. And if the Chinese were buying a few of our farms, no big deal, right? Just to be sure, I kept researching anyway, night after night. U.S. Department of Agriculture data shows that Chinese ownership of U.S. farmland led to $1.8 billion in 2020. Major Chinese companies, such as the Fufang Group, are buying up large plots of land near sensitive American military installations. A Chinese agricultural company set up a milling plant that is a 20-minute drive from the U.S. Air Force Base. Senator John Hoven. Okay, I was wrong. This is, is a big deal. Communist China publicly owns billions of dollars of U.S. farms. And not only have they been buying more and more of our precious farmland, but they've been doing it literally next door to critical power grids and top secret military installations. That's insane. Once on. again, how the hell was China getting away with this? It's almost like someone in our government was letting it happen. Then I found an article in Politico about U.S. Congressman and agricultural scientist Dan Newhouse. Folks, this gave me a shred of hope. In it, the congressman blew the whistle on communist China, and he said this. The current trend in the U.S. is leading us toward the creation of a Chinese-owned agricultural land monopoly. The article went on to state, 
House lawmakers warn that China's presence in the American food system poses a national security risk. Suddenly I felt some relief. Our government was aware of this threat. And a Apparently, they had decided to finally do something about it. In uh, fact, go back, suddenly I felt some relief. Our government was aware of this threat. And apparently, had decided to finally do something about it. In fact, in 2021, Congressman Newhouse introduced H.R. 7892 in Congress. This bill was designed to block any new agricultural purchases by the Chinese government. Hallelujah! Our government had taken action and was finally doing something useful with taxpayers' money, protecting our security and our way of life. For the first time in months, I got a good night's sleep, knowing that H.R. 7892 was making its way through Congress. America's food supply, and my son's food supply, is going to be protected by our federal government. Except that I was dead wrong as I dug deeper. I discovered that as of today, several years after Newhouse tried to push H.R. 7892 through the House, nothing has happened. Congressman Newhouse's bill still hasn't passed. In large part because this crucial amendment, which would help stop communist China from hijacking our food supply, has been ferociously opposed by a radical left-wing congresswoman out of New York, Grace Meng. Meng has used numerous arguments to block this crucial bill at every turn, stating the amendment was about national security. By uh. Sorry about all these start and stops, but what I've had to deal with just on stuff that means anything. You're already propaganda will never get cut like the uh, uh, if it's propaganda if it's the truth you're going to have a hell of a time watching it. Oh. If we stop China from taking over our food supply, Americans will start to hate the Chinese? It doesn't even make sense. Wouldn't it be the other way around? If we don't stop communist China taking our food supply, I think Americans are going to be pretty pissed, you know? Because they'll be starving to death. But guess what? As lame as Meng's argument was, of course the idiots in Congress bought it. Book, line, and sinker which as far as I can tell, is the main reason H.R. 7892 still hasn't passed. So I started to investigate Grace Meng more closely and discovered some alarming facts. Like Grace Meng's father, Jimmy Meng, originally hailing from Shandong, China, jumped into politics shortly after moving to the U.S. With his daughter's support, Jimmy Meng ran for the New York State Assembly in 2004. And amazingly, Jimmy won that race although his election was extremely controversial. Even the New York Post reported that Jimmy got elected using ghost voters. What are ghost voters? They're voters who don't exist, and it's the most blatant form of election fraud there is. Why would a Chinese immigrant run for office so soon after arriving in the U.S.? And why would he use ghost voters to make sure he got elected? Trump's national security advisor, Robert O'Brien, said that when it came to election interference, he considered... China, even more of a threat than Russia. By this point, guys, I had to ask, is it possible that the Chinese Communist Party was involved in Meng's election? Was Jimmy Meng a Chinese spy? Guys, I really can't say for sure, but I can say that eventually, Jimmy's illegal activity caught up to him. In 2012, Jimmy was arrested by our government and pled guilty to fraud, which he was sent to jail for. Now his daughter has taken Jimmy's place in Congress. Is it so she can complete her father's mission? Well, if it is, yeah, she's doing a bang-up job so far. Because Grace Meng has successfully used woke, cancel, cult...
first mission? Well, if it is, she's doing a bang-up job so far. Because Grace Meng has successfully used woke, canceled, cult... Ah, jeez. Canceled internet. I like Chinese food, but... Just by saying this, but it's entirely possible that a faction of our own government is helping her do it. A faction that could go all the way up to the highest levels of our democracy. When he met with the group, by the And accidentally said something he wasn't supposed to. It's your call on that one. Then I made another shocking discovery. The Chinese, seemingly two steps ahead at every turn, had already pivoted and prepared in the event that H.R. 7892 was passed because they had found a gaping loophole. Shell companies! You see, H.R. 7892 states that only American companies can purchase American farmland. But what about an American company that's owned by an American company, that's owned by a company in Morocco, that's actually owned by the Chinese government? In other words, an elaborate, untraceable maze of shell companies that eventually lead back to Beijing. You think it isn't happening? Senators Mark Warner and Mike Rounds have been trying to warn the rest of our government that it already is, and recently went on record to say these shell companies have proven to be key tools in China's corrupt and tightening grip on the country. That's when I realized I had been wrong the whole time. I believe that the security of our food supply hinged on H.R. 7892 getting passed in Congress, but it wasn't. If Meng and her communist cronies were somehow beaten back and H.R. 7892 were to pass at some point, it wouldn't matter one bit. The Chinese had found an unfillable loophole. A loophole that means American farmers have no clue who they are really selling their land to. Folks, that's when it dawned on me. My son was in danger. We all were. Because it was too late. If the years I spent calling out crooked corporations taught me anything, it's this. Whoever has a controlling interest controls the entire supply chain. Like how Elon Musk took over Twitter. Elon quietly purchased around 10% of Twitter's publicly traded shares. But 10% was more than enough to give him a controlling interest in the company. You see, the Chinese don't have to own 100% of our farms to cause a massive disruption in our food supply. In fact, by my very conservative estimates, they would only need to own approximately 6% of U.S. farms to have the power to pull the plug on America's food supply. Well, communist China already owns billions of dollars of U.S. farmland, publicly. But how much more do they own via secret shell companies? And how much more are they buying every single day? There's no way to know for sure. But here's what I do know. If Beijing doesn't control more than 6% of U.S. farmland as of this very moment, it's just a matter of time before they do. Maybe it's next year. Maybe it's next week. In other words, I believe that due to Grace Meng and her minions, we are well past the point of no return. And China is a button push away from triggering a national food crisis, unlike anything our country has ever seen. A crisis that will start with a stockpiling frenzy. You might recall when COVID came out of China and Americans panicked. Suddenly, bloody brawls erupted in stores across the country to get the last roll of toilet paper. Remember that? I just want one pack. No, no, one pack. Toilet paper practically turned into gold. You couldn't find it anywhere. Not in stores, not on Amazon, not on the internet, and this insane to I wipe them with leaves. Leaves. Real soft leaves. 
That ain't even funny, man. We're gonna be eating leaves. See, that's their way. Come on, come on back up. Your family's survival. Like food? How much worse would those supermarket brawls have been? How many Americans would have died to get the last can of soup at Walmart? Hundreds? Thousands? Tens of thousands? I really can't say for sure. But what I can say is, with Communist China controlling our food supply, we are almost certainly going to find out. And guys, I think it's going to be a massacre. By the way, if you're growing your own food and think your family is safe, you're wrong. Communist China and Russia have a manufacturing monopoly on fertilizer and pesticides so America is forced to import our enemies hey, and just like organic, that man. they can pull the plug or worse inject fertilizer. harmful chemicals to seep it to our food I know I don't know slowly drain our testosterone until we're defenseless sheep right for enslavement and slaughter think it couldn't happen looks like it already is oh i know God. it all sounds pretty scary folks but at least i can give you a little bit of good news because there is one american who is definitely aware of xi jinping's threat to america and he's trying to help He's buying up as many of our farms as he can. April, you're reporting Bill Gates started buying land in 2013 through a web of shell companies across the country. Bill Gates became the largest individual owner of farmland in America. And the land that he's buying up, he's taking out of food production. Sorry, did I say this was good news? Well, it's not. It's terrible news. Because guess who he's trying to help? I tend to see uh, China's rise as a huge win for the world. Hi, I'm oh Bill Gates. I'd like to extend belated Chinese New Year greetings to you, and thanks to Xinhua News Agency for inviting me to share a few reflections. As it turns out, Gates appears oh, to have man. a very close relationship with Xi Jinping, the grand dictator of the Chinese Communist Party. Bill Gates meeting with Xi Jinping, calling him a friend. Xi calls uh, Gates a friend. So let me ask you this. Why the hell is Bill Gates who spent his whole life doing nerdy computer stuff, suddenly buying up our farms too? And why did he start buying so many of our farms after he and Ping got to be besties? Now here's the bottom line. Communist China has slithered into our farms, twisted its way around our food supply, and can now dramatically alter its price. In other words, they can do whatever the hell they want. They can ship all of our grain, corn, and meat directly to China, Feed the 1.4 billion hungry people who live there and leave our cupboards and store shelves bare. Or they can sell our own food back to us at an enormous markup. Let me guess, you don't think that'll happen either? It's happening right now. Americans especially getting hit hard at the grocery store. The price of items like dry beans, canned vegetables, flour, all up better than 10%. From the same time just one year ago. One food item in particular is up by some standards more than five times what it's been in the past. Mainstream media blames our skyrocketing food costs on lots of things. Inflation, Russian sanctions, droughts, COVID, etc., etc. But a massive amount of evidence points to communist China as the true culprit behind our rising food costs. Just think about it. We already know that China is buying up more and more of our farms every single day, both publicly and through secret shell companies. And as they're doing this, the cost of our food keeps going up. Do you believe that's a coincidence? Because I believe it's just the tip of the iceberg. And history itself proves over and over that nothing, and I mean nothing, brings out the desperate dark side of human nature like hunger. I know, because I've seen it firsthand when I was deployed in Afghanistan. Just ask yourself this. What would you do to keep your starving family alive? Would you hunt for rats that are hiding in dumpsters? Would you boil and eat the leather in your shoes for sustenance? Would you kill a neighbor who's trying to steal the last of your dwindling food supply? It's hard to imagine saying yes to any of these questions. We have enough knowledge from our past to know the answer beyond any doubt. Yes, you would. So would I. That's what extreme hunger drives us to. Now listen to me very carefully. Keep 
keep checking to see if this camera's still on. Shrapnel, bullet fragments left and right. Guys, I had a little talk with God. But even if you are an atheist, you can't deny that the following predictions, straight out of the Bible, are eerily on point. Deuteronomy 28.33 predicts, A nation whom you have not known shall eat the fruit of your land and the produce of your labor, and you shall be oppressed and crushed continually. Leviticus 26.16 declares, And you shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. And when describing the end of times, the, the final days of our civilization, Revelations 1 12 warns, and a great red dragon stood before the woman who was about to give birth, so that when she bore her child, he might devour it. When I first read that passage in Revelations, I couldn't stop thinking about it. Was the woman giving birth just a metaphor for America's fertile farmland? Could her child somehow be America's precious food supply? And was the red dragon, who was so hungry to devour the child, really just communist China? I don't know for sure, but I do know that for thousands of years, China's universal symbol has been the red dragon, and that the Bible has long prophesied that a hellish food shortage is on the way. A food shortage that, as rumor has it, has even been given a nickname by several Pentagon officials. The final famine. What does all of this mean? It means every patriot needs to prepare immediately. That's a given. The question is, how do you prepare for a famine of biblical proportions? Well, the answer is kind of obvious. You need to have your own self-sufficient, sustainable food supply that doesn't rely on Chinese fertilizers. And your supply needs to produce enough food to support you and the people you care about most indefinitely. Because if official predictions or biblical predictions are even close to correct, this famine could last for years. By this point, it was pretty clear. I had no other choice but to grow my own food. And here's the thing. Folks, I'm a gunfighter, not a gardener. And I had zero experience growing anything. However, my time in the military and my time in politics, not to mention that viral video of me getting shot, had blessed me with an elite network of high-level contacts. Now, it was time to fully tap into it with one goal and one goal alone. Discover the best at-home growing system on the planet that would continually produce enough food for my whole family. Plus, it would have to be easy enough to build that a guy like me could actually do it. I mean, look at my fingers, folks. Do these look like gardener's fingers? Finally, it would have to be a system that didn't rely on Chinese-made fertilizers or pesticides, which unfortunately ruled out 99% of traditional growing methods. So I reached out to my most high-level contacts. Contacts who were not only aware of the incoming famine, but were already preparing for it. To protect their identities, I won't reveal who I spoke with. But let's just say that I'm friends with some of the top brass in the military, as well as someone very high up in the political spectrum. Someone that you've definitely heard of and are probably a big fan of. And with a little bit of prodding, I got them to spill the beans and discovered exactly how they were protecting their families from what's to come. A state-of-the-art growing method that's been kept secret from the general public. It's called electroponics. Electroponics is a top-secret, state-of-the-art technology that combines modern hydroponics with the power of electricity. Electricity that gets pumped directly into whatever food you're growing. And all you need to channel that current is a few feet of copper wire. And that's exactly why, with this secret method, plants can grow up to 300% bigger than what you would normally get. Plus, electroponics is proven to grow your food faster. Much faster. Why is that important? The faster your food grows, the less space you'll need to devote to growing it. The more people you'll be able to feed, and the more food you'll have in a crisis. Beyond that, food grown with electroponics is much richer with nutritious, life-saving vitamins and minerals, and can be grown indoors or out. More importantly, the gentle electric current not only kills bacteria and viruses, but it naturally wards off bugs and pests, which is exactly why electroponics is the only food growing system Maybe that doesn't why. rely on Chinese made fertilizers or pesticides. And once I've gotten a hold of its precious building blueprint, I got to work. And to be frank, 
It was my first time ever trying to grow anything. Guys, not going to lie. I felt kind of like a retard. To make matters worse, the blueprint that had been leaked to me was very technical and difficult to understand. But I stuck to my guns, and after several weeks of trial and error, I had built my very first electroponic system. And before I knew it, I was... Long time. I felt a newfound sense of security. Now here's the weird plot twist. So I got a friend. He's a good dude. He's a veteran. He's done me some favors. He worked on my campaigns when I was running for Congress. He picks up things I need from the store. Hell, he'll even come over and clean my damn house for me. And when my buddy saw the fountain of delicious food I was growing, he asked me if I would show him how. Now, I don't know how to say this without sounding like a prick, but my buddy ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. But I love the guy. And if he happens to watch this report, well, hey, sorry, brother, but you know it's true. And so I took the time to translate the complicated electroponics blueprint into plain, easy to understand English. So even my dumbass of a friend would be able to build his own system. And guess what? He did. It worked. Oh, Me, my family, and my friend would be protected by a fortress of food throughout this family. Look, folks, when I first started my investigation, all I cared about was protecting my family and the folks I was closest to. But as I realized just how many innocent Americans and patriots were actually going to die because of this famine, I knew I had to do something to try to help. It was too late to stop what was coming, but it wasn't too late to get this electroponics guy into the hands of as many patriots as I could. A simple, Easy to use system that not only shows you how to quickly build your own self-sufficient food supply that can fit inside of an empty closet, but also be fully prepared for all of the ripple effect consequences of this final famine. So when that dark day arrives, and trust me, it's right around the corner, not only will you and your family survive, you'll thrive. And that's how Final Famine, how to keep your family fat and happy while the world starves, was born. Final Famine will take you by the hand and show you step by step how to easily build your own never-ending fountain of food in hardly any time at all. A fountain powered by electroponics. So you'll so dang healthy yet his age he's been eating his shit off the shelves hey uh you gonna finish this looks like camera's still on we go back we go forward I step how to easily build your own never sweet Jesus fountain powered by electroponics so you'll never run out of food no matter what's happening in the world around you and you never have to rely on Chinese made fertilizers or pesticides more importantly final famine is designed to work for anyone no matter where you live, no matter how old you are, or how much survival experience you have. So whether you're an ex-Green Beret that lives on a 20-acre farm, or a 73-year-old grandmother who lives in a studio apartment, Final Famine will ensure you and your family are fully prepared to thrive throughout this imminent food shortage. Because you will never have to rely on the U.S. food supply again. A supply which evidence proves 
is more than just compromise. It's now controlled by the red hand of the Chinese Communist Party. And because the consequences of this food shortage go beyond empty supermarket shelves, final famine goes above and beyond as well. Inside this urgent... Soda pot. I know, I'm real funny. Alright, here we go. The consequences of this food shortage will go beyond empty supermarket shelves. Final famine goes above and beyond as well. Inside this urgent cup. internet providers from China. Wow. Wow. Motherfucker barely works. The consequences of this food shortage will go beyond empty supermarket shelves. Final famine goes above and beyond as well. Inside this urgent... system. You'll also discover the final red flag. Watch out for this DEFCON 5 warning sign that will indicate food riots are about to begin. Hint, regardless of whether or not you trust our government, you'll want to watch the next congressional hearing very closely. You think eggs have gotten expensive? Discover the three beloved foods that are next on the chopping block and about to become completely unaffordable for most Americans. Stock up and freeze these three staples now before their price skyrockets out of control. Our famine is getting more, more fatal from the Boston bread riot to 1710 to the Irish potato famine of 1846, which folks killed over a million people. History uh, is crystal clear. Famines are getting there. deadlier and deadlier. However, all famines share one thing in common. Knowing what it is will make everyone in your neighborhood see you as their leader when the shit hits the fan. Emergency hydration. Unearth the secrets of turning dirty water into crystal clear drinking water that gives you and your loved ones the crucial life-saving hydration you'll need in an emergency. Well, I'm All about. you'll need is a bucket, garden hose, and this odd-looking device from your local hardware store. All of these secrets and more are inside of your full-color copy of Final Famine. Now, Final Famine, how to keep your family fat and happy while the world starves, is only available on this website. And only while I'm able to share it with you, which may not be for long. Just think about it for a second. Over the course of this controversial video, I have openly called out the Chinese government. These are literally some of the most powerful, deceptive, and dangerous people in the world. And I'm not just talking about Kung Fu! And if you think the members of the Chinese Communist Party are thousands of miles away and can't get to me, think again. So two men were taken into custody by the FBI, accused of setting up a secret and illegal police station right here in Manhattan on behalf of the Chinese government. Guys, they're already hey, here. Dad. Oh yeah, and over the course of this report, I've also called out members of our own government. Do you honestly think any of them are going to let me keep doing this? So if you try coming back to this website and it's gone, well, at least you know why. More urgently, Communist China already has a controlling interest in our food supply right now. They could cripple it any time they want. Once this food shortage strikes, your ability to get your hands on final famine will vanish, just like our farms are. At which point, and I hate to say it, but the only option you and your loved ones might have is to stay up all night waiting in government-controlled bread lines, hoping to get some measly ration that barely filled... light at the end of the tunnel. Because Final Famine, how to keep your family fat and happy while the world starves, has already helped countless Americans prepare for this event. Not only giving them peace of mind, but also giving them a cost-efficient way to slash their existing food bills and save money 
before that shit hits the fan. Imagine always having a surplus of healthy, delicious, homegrown food for you and your family, and more than enough food to help others who are hungry. And if the food shortage lasts longer than six months, like some officials are predicting, Final Famine will give you the confidence, courage, and surplus food you'll need as America descends into chaos. And look, I really hope it doesn't come to that. But the fact is, China is dangling our food supply above our heads like a slippery puppet master. So you and your family must be prepared for a worst case scenario. And Final Famine is the best protection. And maybe the only protection there is that will insulate your family from this impending disaster. Now, as much as I wanted to give Final Famine away for free, the growing cost of this website, supporting my team, printing and distributing this full-color book all across the country, and getting it straight to your front door, not to mention the biggest cost of all, raising awareness about this deadly threat to our families, well, frankly, it's a lot more expensive than I thought. But here's the thing. Believe it or not, I don't care about the money. I care about the greater mission, getting your famine defense system into your hands as quickly as possible, which is why today I'm literally trying to break even. And why you won't have to invest $2,375, which is what the average American family spends each year dining out. The luxury that'll disappear once this famine strikes because if you thought COVID was bad for restaurants, wait until the cost of basic ingredients, 10 times, 20 times, and then 30 times the amount they are now. Bottom line, when you invest in your full color copy of Final Famine right now and get it shipped straight to your front door, it's all yours for just 67 bucks. I think that's a pretty square deal. Why am I offering you this one of a kind famine defense system for less than the cost of one dinner? Simple. I know that if you choose not to invest in this system right now, you and your family may never eat dinner again. And there's another reason I'm offering you Final Famine at such a reasonable price. You see, there's something I want from you in return for letting you in. I want you to sh He's almost done. Uh, dang it. Hey, are you sure? Screwing up the transmission. I'm offering you Final Famine at such a reasonable price. You see, there's something I want from you in return for letting you in. I want you to sh. Share the secrets contained in this manual with as many people as you can. I don't care if you photocopy it and hand it out to all your friends. They don't have to pay a dime. You see, now that you know the truth and have seen the rock-solid evidence of what's on our country's horizon, I believe it is your moral duty to share this system with as many Americans as you can. Now to get started, just click the big button you see right now, and I'll ship you your beautifully printed, full-color copy of Final Famine, how to keep your family fat and happy while the world starves, immediately. Plus, to show you my thanks, I'll eat the shipping and handling cost, a $9.95 value, absolutely free. And in case you can't wait the five business days it takes to receive your printed, full-color copy of Final Famine, when you click the button now, You'll also get instant access to the entire digital version of Final Famine. Better known at 
as an ebook. That way you can share it with as many friends and family members as you like. Now to get started, just click the button. You see, from here, you'll be taken to an ultra safe and secure order form where you can enter in your details and within just two minutes from now, get instant access to Final Famine and be on your way to true food independence and join the ranks of growing patriots who have taken critical action and taken control of their destiny. Click the button you see right now. By the way, you can make your investment in Final Famine with complete confidence and peace of mind. You see, because I know you've yet to experience the incredible growing power of electroponics or the bulletproof security blanket that's about to shield your whole family, or hell, even how Final Famine can help cut your grocery bills down before shit hits the fan, I want to make this investment today an absolute no-brainer for you. That's why I'm protecting your investment with my never get hungry guarantee. Here's how it works. You must not only love Final Famine, but you must be thoroughly convinced this system will fully protect you and your family from what's coming, or your money back, period. Hell, even if you are convinced that this is the only solution that will save you from this famine, but by some impossible miracle, the famine never occurs, you can call me. still get your money back. No questions asked. Now, I gotta make a confession to you. Is Final uh, Famine going to protect you and your family from all the terrible things that are about to happen to America? No. No, it's not. Because, and I hate to say this, but Communist China isn't just targeting America's food supply. Like I mentioned earlier, due to the strength of my network, I occasionally get my hands on critical intel that's being concealed from everyday Americans. And I happen to know for a fact that Communist China is targeting America's fragile weak points in a number of other ways, too. For that reason, when you secure your copy of Final Famine today, I'm also going to offer you an additional critical book that will help you stay safe during the uncertain times ahead absolutely free. Introducing The Red Dragon Report. Think China is only targeting our food supply? Think again. During the open by the Red Dragon Report, I'll expose all of the dirty details, including EMP time bomb. Is Communist China planning an attack on America's outdated power grid? Well, according to the Department of Homeland Security, the Chinese aren't planning an attack. It's already begun. Inside the Red Dragon Report, we'll show you our evidence and reveal the strange. blanket you'll need to cover all of your electronics with. The spy inside your bedroom. Uncover how the Chinese government steals your personal information using a popular home appliance and how it's massively increasing your risk of identity theft, bank fraud, and something much worse. Plus, the 1980s radio that will jam their risk of identity Good. Concentration camps for Christians. You already know that Communist China owns billions of dollars of U.S. farms. But what are they really building on these farms? And what kind of food is coming out of them? Discover their sinister secret. Inside the Red Dragon Report, Puppy Picnic. You must stop eating any food from Chinese restaurants. Eat. Did we hear that? They're trying to poison. The button you see right now to secure. Can we say that again? Here. Yeah, it's worse than you thought, folks. So 
so please click the button you see right now to secure your copies of Final. Oh, he's dead. To keep your family fat and happy while the world starves. And the red dragon report. Before my long list of enemies gets this page shut down for good. And there's something else you need to know, too. Based on the evidence from U.S. Senators and national security officials, once this famine begins, it's going to be a monumental event that will have a huge ripple effect that will impact every aspect of society. And will have far greater consequences than anything America has ever experienced. Sadly, the harsh reality is millions of people will probably die. And I'm not talking about a quick and painless death. I'm talking about a slow, excruciating agony that drags on for weeks until close your eyes for the last time. Guys, I hate to use such graphic imagery, but this is serious. And I would hate for you, for anyone you know, to become a statistic. That's why I'm urging you to take advantage of the only blueprint on the planet, specifically designed to protect you and your loved ones as the clock winds down to doomsday. Your copy of Final Famine is easy to read and even easier to use. In fact, you could probably finish it in a sitting. And that's the only way to ensure you and your loved ones have unlimited, nutritious, delicious food that nobody else ever has to know about. Remember, if this famine gets as bad as some experts Food will become more precious than money, gold, or anything you own. So you might want to keep your abundant food supply under the radar. And don't forget, you're protected by my 100% risk-free, never-get-hungry money-back guarantee. So there is absolutely zero risk on your part. And even if the famine doesn't arrive next week, next month, next year, or ever, and Congressman Dan Newhouse, Senator Mark Warner, Senator Mike Rounds, and former Vice President Mike Pence are all dead wrong about what's coming. At the very least, Final Famine will help slash your food bills and save you some money so you can enjoy the freedom that comes with having an independent food supply. But remember, if me, those senators, Mike Pence, and so many other experts are all correct, the moment this famine goes into its final phase, Trust me, you are going to wish you had this life-saving intel by your side. Can you tell us how to grow toilet paper? The moment this famine goes into its final phase, trust me, you are going to wish you had this life-saving intel by your side. The moment this fam second, click the button you see now and lock in your copies of Final Famine and the Red Dragon Report before it's too late. Okay, you're still here? I mean, seriously, folks. If you're still on the fence about this investment, after all of the stone-cold evidence I presented, now I'm starting to worry about you. And when I say worry, I mean it literally. Because you and your family are in serious danger. But I'm going to try one last time to help you see the light before it's too late. Here are a few common questions I get about Final Famine. How to keep your family fat and happy while the world starves. How soon will I get access to Final Famine and the Red Dragon Report? When you click the button... the Red Dragon report into a discreet box and shipping them straight to your front door. And typically, your physical copy of your book should arrive at your home within five or six business days. By the way, once you're inside our secret online members area, I suggest you download all the material and print it out immediately. That way, if the shit does hit the fan even sooner than we thought, you'll have all of the precious knowledge contained inside Final Famine right by your side when you need it most. 
In fact, if you're willing to print out as many copies as you can, and share them with the people you care about most. One day soon, they may owe you a lot more than a thank you. Is there yeah. anything else out there like Final Famine? Yeah. No, there isn't. Because Final Famine is literally the only loop. Uh, nuke them till they glow and shoot them in the dark. May owe you a lot more than a thank you. Is there anything else out there like Final Famine? No, there isn't. Because Final Famine is literally the only loop. May on the planet that harnesses the power of electroponics and allows you to grow more food faster in any environment. Beyond that, Final Famine and the Red Dragon Report also show you how to prepare for the devastating after effects of a prolonged nationwide food <laughs> shortage. Now, frankly, I haven't seen a single program like Final Famine, but I fully expect that at some point, Another system will come out that claims to do what Final Famine does. When this happens, I urge you to be extremely wary because it's an. Oh, we'll get to the bottom of the end of this sooner or later. Entirely possible that the Chinese government, or a far left renegade faction of our own government, is actually behind it. After all, it's become frightfully clear that these powerful forces do not want you to be prepared for what's to come. So it makes sense that they flood the market with fake product alternatives that don't work and actually leave you even more vulnerable about to hit America. How long does it take to put together my own electroponics growing? system? Well, that's a good question. And because your copy of Final Famine is incredibly user-friendly, life-saving food in very little time. You Within two weeks, and that's if you're putting in about an hour a day. If you sense that things are about to get really, really bad in America, you can get your electroponic system set up even sooner simply by putting a bit more time in up front. Better yet, this book was written with the average American in mind. In other words, you don't need to have growing experience or building experience, or anything like that. See, this system is designed specifically for people who have never put anything together. And some of the people who have successfully used Final Famine to build their own famine defense systems include soccer moms who want to protect their kids, school teachers who care about their students, and even grandparents who want to create a safe place for their grandkids to escape to when the famine really gets out of control. What if I don't have land or a backyard? Will the system work for me? Yes. Yes, it will. You see, because the state-of-the-art power of electroponics lets you grow food much faster than conventional means, you don't need nearly as much space. And that's exactly why this system will work for you inside or out. In fact, a lot of folks simply empty out one of their closets, snap together their own electroponics system, throw up a high-intensity light, and put it all in their closet. I should add that if you live in an urban area, you might be better off keeping your electroponics food fountain inside of your house. Because when shit hits the fan, you don't want your precious food supply hey. to be visible to looters. How hey, long do I have to invest in my copy of Final Famine and the Red Dragon Report? As much yeah. as I'd love to say forever, the truth is this famine right. could enter its next phase at any moment. And when it does, chaos and mass confusion will immediately follow. Beyond that, I strongly suspect that the powers that be have already targeted me My and targeted this website for liquidation. My After all, they can't be happy that I'm blowing the whistle on what they're doing, but that I'm revealing a proven no. solution for what's to come. For My all area. I know, this website and your ability to get your hands on Final Famine 
could vanish at any moment. That's why, if you're still watching, it means still a chance to get your hands on this life-saving system. So click the button you see now to get instant access to the most foolproof, step-by-step blueprint in existence that shows you how to thrive throughout the duration of this famine. No matter how long it lasts, and no matter how bad it gets, just click the button you see right now to get started. Is it safe to buy online? Yes, absolutely. We pride ourselves on using state-of-the-art SSL encryption. And frankly, it's because we have to. When you piss off as many powerful people as I have, you have no choice but to invest in the very best security measures. Security measures that fully protect your personal information. On top of that, we don't even store your credit card number, so there's nothing for them to steal. That's why you can feel good and safe when you click the button you see right now and invest in your family's future. Can you remind me of the guarantee again? It's simple. I'm insuring your investment today with a promise. My never get hungry guarantee. Here's how it works. Say yes to Final Famine today. And if for any reason at all you decide you want your investment back, even if it's because, by some incredible miracle, the famine is stopped by our current administration, I will give you a prompt and courteous refund. No questions asked. Just call me anytime. And my devoted team of famine fighters will give you back every penny of your purchase. No questions, no hassles, and you still get to keep everything, including your full color physical copies of Final Famine and the Red Dragon Report. And so don't wait another second and click the button you see right now to get started before it's too late. Okay, those are the most common questions I get about Final Famine. Hopefully yours was answered. So please, click the button you see now to get your hands on your copies of Final Famine, how to keep your family fat and happy while the world starves, and the Red Dragon Report oh, you while churches. you still can. Plus, you get to try out Final Famine Earth for yourself. See how well it works. And decide later if it's worth the money. Remember, you must absolutely love Final Famine. You can get a prompt and courteous. Okay, buddy. I know you're about done. See? Fun. And if for any reason at all, no matter how silly you decide that this isn't for you, guess what? We're still friends. That's why I think it's smarter to find out if this is for you. Instead of being caught with your pants down as the greatest famine of all time, strikes America like a lightning. Aye. Famine predicted by U.S. senators. Famine predicted by U.S. congressmen. Famine predicted in the Holy Bible. The famine that, just by looking at the growing cost of groceries, you can see has already started. It's already so please started get your hands on Final Famine and the Red Dragon Report. Till I ask them for a hundred dollars off because their fucking shit don't work. For right now. Now, before it's too late. Because I know that Fuck. anyone who has listened high speed internet my this ass. far can sense that something is very, very wrong. And that America is facing an existential threat unlike anything we've ever had to fight. And I believe with all my heart and soul that Final Famine and the Red Dragon Report are not only the best way They may be the only way for you to fight it. So I'll remind you one more time. I'm giving you our never get hungry guarantee. We call it that because with Final Famine by your side, you and your family will never get hungry ever, no matter how bad things get. And this promise to you is unconditional, which means that I take all the risk. In fact, I've almost made it too easy for you to get your investment back. My point is, 
whatever the reason, no matter how strange it sounds, all you have to do is call me up, shoot me an email, and you can get your investment back instantly. And even if you do change your mind about your investment, you get to keep your copy of Final Famine and the Red Dragon Report. Because I know how tough times are. And they're about to get a lot tougher. So even if you decide to ask for your investment back, simply because you need the money to make ends meet, I want you to keep your copy of Final Family. And so when grocery store shelves guy. are suddenly empty, you're fully prepared for it. I've committed to such a big guarantee because I am incredibly excited about this one-of-a-kind system. And after seeing how brilliantly the Final Famine system worked for my family, not to mention countless other families, I have full faith that it'll work for yours. Speaking of families, nothing makes me happier than inspiring success stories from our own Final Famine family. Whether it's someone who quickly built their own sustainable food supply and as a result started sleeping better than they have in ages. Or someone who started eating their own homegrown delicious food and as a result actually got in the best shape of their life because they were eating natural, healthy food. Not the store-bought stuff that's riddled with crappy preservatives. Or someone who replaced their expensive store-bought grocery with healthy, delicious, homegrown food and as a result started saving several hundred dollars a month. Believe me, the list goes on and on and on. And really, you think about it, what can you get for 67 bucks that has the power to change your life forever? Uh, I can barely take dinner. my wife out to dinner for 67 bucks. So ask Chinese yourself, dinner. am I willing to give up one meal out, even just a chance to survive the coming famine? Hell, even if there was only a 10% chance the final famine saves my family, I'd give up one dinner out. I might give up dinners for the rest of my life. Especially when you consider that going out for dinner won't be an option for anyone soon. Bottom line, the final famine and the proven secrets contained within it, not to mention the Red Dragon report by your side, your chances of not only surviving, but thriving throughout this famine aren't 10%. They might be 100%. You get the point. Don't leave something this serious to chance. Click the button you see now. Enter your information on our Ultra Secure checkout page and secure your copy of Final Famine and the Red Dragon Report before it's too late. Okay? okay. Thank you so much for hearing me out and weighing all the evidence that I presented. Whatever you decide, I truly do Don't wish you the very best in the days to come. Good luck. God bless your family well, and God bless America. Thank you.